Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on Nexus Gaming. When last we left off, we had made our way up here to Jacobstown, up in the mountains here. We were given a quest to uh, take the king's robot dog, the cyber dog, up to a doctor here to see if he can get his uh, brain fixed. And it was a little bit of a journey, but we finally made it. Now let's go ahead and approach the town. Looks like we have our first resident right here. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. All right, well, uh, are there any town rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. And, uh, what's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. And why do you, some of the super mutants dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. And what makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. If you've got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you know about them? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. And do you have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. Well, uh, let's talk about Jacobstown a little bit. Such as? What's the history here? It was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. What about you? Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. A super mutant army? Long story, so here's the short version. The master created the super mutants and nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. And you were a mayor. Town was broken hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. What about the tribal? We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I've got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. All right. See you. Oh, that is Marcus, the founder of Jacobstown. He's actually a companion from Fallout 2. Broken Hills is a town in Fallout 2. You go there. You meet Marcus, and you have the option of recruiting him 
as a companion and it seems since Fallout 2 he's moved on into the New Vegas area. So here we are in Jacobstown. There's a few things that we're going to want to get here. I think uh, a few of it, a uh, couple of it is uh, in the little bungalows here. I can speak, I promise. There's a star bottle cap. There's a Nuka-Cola victory if you're into that. A permanent increased skill magazine. And there's a snow globe in the lodge itself. You're going to have to bear with me. Here's the Nuka-Cola victory. That was an easy find. I'm not sure which of the bungalows these are all in though. So we'll have to... Uh, Search them all until we find them. I don't think anything else is going to be in here, though. Maybe. Alright, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and move on from this one, because I'm not seeing anything. There's the... Uh, there's a skill magazine actually, so uh, it's a good thing I kept searching. We'll go ahead, we'll read this one too that we have. And Grognak, that's melee and medicine, upped a little bit. And now we will move on to the next bungalow, which I think has the star bottle cap in it. It's not this one, it should be this one back here. I think it's going to be on the one of the counters here. Maybe not. We'll just... Uh, there we go. Right there on the table. You have a bunch of playing cards here. Some shot glasses. Skeleton there. Looks like he was uh, not too happy about losing this game, maybe. Fell back in his chair. I don't know. However you want to look at it. So yeah, that's the star bottle cap. How many of those do we have right now? We have 36. We are almost to our goal there. I think it's 40 or 50. The snow globe is going to be in the main lodge itself. It should be right in the front reception desk. So we'll uh, just walk in and check that out. And there it is. This is Keen here. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you have a problem? Humans are always staring at things. We Nikon don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. How does that make you different? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. And who's the other human? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Well, uh, what do you do here, Keen? I represent the Nikon. Marcus may leave this town, but the Nikon listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nikon. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. All right, then. Finally. So that's Keen. I think other than uh, Davison in the Retcon area, he's the first Nightkin we've really talked to. And he's uh, interesting, alright? There was also the one at the Tumbleweed Ranch, but he uh, didn't really amount to much. This here is Dr. Henry's lab. This is his assistant, Calamity. But uh, we're not interested in her. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, yeah, something's wrong with my cyber dog. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. 
I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Yes, yes. So now we have uh, the option to go get a brain, another dog's brain, for our uh, friend Rex here. Now he mentioned three different places. We can either go to Novak, to the Gibson Scrapyard, and get one of her dog's brains. We can check out the Fiends up here by Vault 3 with uh, Violet, her dogs. Remember, we killed her when we were killing the Fiend leaders. I don't know if uh, those dogs are still there or not. They might have been cleaned up by the game, so I'm not going to check there. And uh, the third and final option is a... a hound from Caesar's Legion but uh we haven't been to the fort yet so I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna go straight to the scrapyard she's gonna be inside I believe yep asleep on her bed So, you're back. Now, where did we leave off? Dr. Henry sent me. I need a new brain. Dr. Henry? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Raise like family. And I've got other dogs to take care of. Now, if you do go with this, uh, this option, you do have to pay for the brain. The other two, I don't think you have to. I'm actually going to check and see if I have a uh, barter magazine. I probably don't, but it's worth checking. He and I had joined up with the same caravan. Add in a lot of whiskey and, huh, well, let's just say, we got to know each other. Interesting. Alright then. Alright, so we need 10 barter on the dot. Which one is that? That's, uh, we have a speech magazine there that might come in handy. A barter, there we go. We actually had one, wow. So, you're back. All right, let's talk about Ray's brain. Like I said before, give me 700 caps and Ray's brain is yours. I'm offering him immortality of a sort. Are you really going to put a price on that? Fair enough. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <laughs> and, uh, just like that, we have Ray's brain. Kind of a little dark, but uh, yeah, we got it. So let's uh, go ahead and fast travel back up to uh, Jacobstown here. And let's get this baby put in. Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town and they just showed up again. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. You sure they work for NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Why can't you just take them out? Not looking to fight. That will give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. And what do you want me to do then? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. 
So this is a little quest that always happens the second time you visit this town. These mercs show up and uh, you just gotta get them to leave the town alone. They're gonna be just a little bit down the road here. Our business is with the muties, not you. And if you have high speech, you can just convince them, go away or you'll have to deal with me. And you'll wish you were fighting super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. And just like that, they leave. Looks like, uh, they don't want to get branded. Alright, so after that, you'll just come back up here and talk to Marcus again. Tell him everything's clear. And that should complete that quest. Something on your mind? You won't have any more trouble with those mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. And uh, while we're here, let's ask him about Keen. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. And uh, why does he want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. What happens if he leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are going to get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. And uh, you're a mutant. Wouldn't they listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Alrighty then. All right. See you. So we warded off some mercenaries and learned a little bit more about Keen. Let's go back and talk to Dr. Henry. That's another Nightkin there that we'll get into next episode. Her name is Lily. And uh, yeah, she's going to be somewhat important to us. But I'm going to leave her for next episode. Go ahead and come in here, talk to Dr. Henry. Again, you interrupt me. Why? Oh, calm down, dude. I just got a new brain. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. It's from Ray, one of old lady Gibson's dogs. All right, let's see here. Your old pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, He'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Go for it. Have a seat. This will take a while. And with Ray's brain, he gets the Faithful Protector perk, which increases his attack damage. The other two brains give him different perks. I think one of them increases his health, and one of them increases his speed, maybe? I'm not sure which is which, so uh, just go with whichever one you want. And that completes that quest. Now I think you can actually try and take Rex back to the king. But if I remember right, the king's just gonna kind of give him to you at that point. But I mean, we'll see what the king says. He probably wants to see that his dog's alright now. But unfortunately, that's gonna pretty much be everything that we'll want to do with Rex. I usually keep Rex around as a, my non-human companion, 
But in this playthrough, since I'm playing melee, I don't want to have Rex jumping up in my way and me cutting him up. So uh, we'll probably just backlog him to the uh, lucky 38 after this and we'll stick with Eddie at that point. But yeah, we'll go ahead and come in here. Let's talk to the king. Should be sitting at his table over here. Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? He sure did. You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. Can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? I gotta go. All right. I'll see you later. So now we have Rex as a permanent companion. His uh, side quest is all done. And we're gonna go ahead. Got a little happy bark there. How you feeling, boy? He's feeling happy. You're certainly looking better. Alright, that being said... He gives a little whimper when you gotta tell him to leave. Go back to the lucky 38, boy. You got plenty of company over there. And now uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and head up to the lucky 38. We're gonna grab Eddie. And then we will fast travel back to Jacob's town. And uh, we'll probably end the episode there. How much money do I have? I should have a good bit of money. Over 9,000. Before we head to Jacobstown, we might go back to uh, the medical clinic and get another implant or two. I think we only have one more left for the, uh, for the special stats. And then we have the two more expensive implants. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get all of them. You can only get as many implants as you have for endurance. As a stat, but I think I did it right to where I can get all the implants. I hope so. Otherwise, I might have a little bit of a problem. Got Victor there, still standing guard at the Lucky 38 here. While we're here, we can sell, I think, a couple of the snow globes we have. Where to, partner? Let's go up to the penthouse and check that out. We Definitely have the Jacobstown one. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Well, that sucks, because I'm not going to see Mr. House. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Alright, looks like we only had the one. That's uh, not bad, though. We'll go ahead and head hello, to four. the presidential suite next see all our different companions wandering around. Let's get Eddie. Companion protocol begin. Log off. Alright. So we got Eddie now. We can go ahead and head back down, go to the medical clinic, like we said, and end off back in Jacobstown. Remember, don't forget to Tell any waiting companions to follow you again, or else they're just going to stand here. And yeah. It's, uh, it feels like it's been forever since I've recorded this, so uh, kind of happy to be back, you know? Excited. I'm, I think tonight I'm going to try and finish up Jacobstown, and then tomorrow I'm going to run through the Boomers next. Hello. You're back. Do you need medical attention? I need an implant. Alright, let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. Alright, you're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? Alright, yeah, we just have the Charisma special one left. The Empathy Synthesizer will allow you to more easily pick up on subtle emotions and body language. The price is 4,000 caps. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Alright, and I'm not sure I have enough for either of the other two. Alright. Alright. 
Um, I think I'd rather have the regenerating ability at this point. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. 12,000? I don't have the caps. That's alright. What about the other one? The subdermal implant. That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. I think I'm down like a hundred caps for that, honestly. Like 8,000? I have 7,800. Let's uh, sell her some stuff then. Oh man, that's... C4 sells for so much, I love it. Alright, so uh, we're already capped out here on what we can give her, it looks like. We'll uh, try and find something. I have the uh, advanced radiation suit now, I can get rid of the regular one. Let's uh, starting to think I really don't need anti-venom anymore. So we'll get rid of that. I think that's about it for what we can sell her. We definitely have the money now. That would it have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. All right, so that gives us more uh, defense. Can I get the last right. one? Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. I'm afraid you can't handle any more implants right now. Your body isn't durable enough to take it. Sorry. That uh, that sucks. Um, take. That actually sucks. Um. What's our what's our endurance at right now? It's at nine. So what I might do, I have two things of uh, the intense training left. I was going to put them both into charisma, but charisma is really not that important. So I might take one down and put that into endurance so I can get that last implant. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Alright. We'll, uh, get that eventually. Let's go ahead and travel back to Jacobstown. And we know it costs 12000 now, so... At least we have a price tag on it to save up for. And yeah, I think that's gonna pretty much do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to do the main quest here in Jacobstown, which involves the Nightkin and the research being done on them and the Stealth Boys. We'll meet Lily over there, deal more with Keen and uh, Dr. Henry. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.